Hi and welcome to my quaint cottage. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so glad you decided to stop in. Today's video hopefully will be a gardening vlog. It has been sprinkling on and off for days and it will continue to sprinkle on and off for days to come. That's just typical of where I live. So basically I have two choices. I can garden in the rain or not garden. There you go. So I got my boots, I've got my barn coat, and I've got my gloves and a couple seeds. Let's go out in the garden. So just to give you a brief overview, I was in the garden yesterday. Uh, we did have a short break between the rain and I was able to do a little bit of weeding. Everything you see in these beds is walking onions. Uh, I've got those beds and this bed, that bed I didn't get to. As you can tell, it's raining and windy, but honestly in my area that's normal for spring. And so if I don't plant in the rain, I don't plant. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to start with planting today and setting out is my stir-fry broccoli. I've never tried this variety. I just picked it up at the local um, greenhouse and I'm going to give it a go. Planting broccoli is really easy. You honestly just take it out. It's a little, got a lot of root systems. You just spread out the roots a little bit, not a whole lot. Dig a hole and set it in there. There you go. There's the first flat planted. This is my number one bed. This has carrots and radishes, and these little radishes are adorable. I can't wait to try some of those. The radishes will be all taken out of here by the time the carrots need the space. I am going to count these adorable little radishes as my very first harvest for the season. Look how small they are in comparison to my gardening gloves. Aren't they adorable? I am sure that I'm not supposed to harvest them yet, but they were kind of in the way of replanting my peas. So I pulled them out. I can't wait to see what they're like. Aren't they cute? This is the third bed. Um, this bed has spinach planted in it. It also had a row of peas. Unfortunately, we did have deer problems and pretty much all the peas, except for that little one there at the end, uh, over here, that pea is left. And then what you see of the spinach is left. The deer really liked it. They picked it out with a bunch of weeds. I'm gonna go through and replant a bunch more. And there is the update for today. I have replanted a bunch of peas and spinach. I have set out these broccoli starts that I had purchased and again planted some more peas in this one and again more peas in this one because all my peas pretty much were eaten by some deer a couple weeks ago. Um, thankfully I have four left of the original ones that came up. The radishes in this bed are adorable. Look how cute they are. And yes, it is still raining. So the only other thing I wanted to do that I probably won't get to do today is plant some beets in with this broccoli. I've never done beets before, but I'm just going to alternate plant a beet there, 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 there on each side of the broccoli and that way, well, maybe I'll just do a whole row, planting them about three or four inches apart. That way I don't have to thin them later. Um, yeah, it's, it's starting to pick up on the rain, so I'm gonna go inside. So that is all for today's garden update. I hope your garden is doing much better than mine. Until next time, happy gardening.